On Linux machines, sometimes you have processes that are running in the background and you want to bring them to the foreground, or you have things that are running in the foreground and you want to push them to the background. And so we're going to look at how to do all of that. So first of all, I have this machine and I can run the sleep command. So sleep five, and you can see that it takes up a terminal. I can't type anything else until this command completes, which takes five seconds. What if I were to do something like sleep 1000? Well, that could take a very, very long time to complete. And I don't want to wait that long. So maybe I can press control C, which breaks out of it. But then the sleep command is gone. It's dead. And that's not going to help. I want it to be running. I want it to run until it completes. So I do sleep 1000 with an ampersand after it which will then send it to the background. And I can look at the process in the background using jobs. And it'll tell me that this command, sleep1000, is running in the background. All right. You can also see it is number one. And there's a little plus thing here that's also important, but we'll look at that in a moment. When I first sent it to the background with the ampersand, you can see that there was a number one, which put it as job number one, and then there's the process ID. I can kill the process if I want, just do kill 3783, which kills it, and then you can see it got terminated and it's gone. But then it's not running anymore. All right, so let's send it back to the background again. All right, so now we have a new process, sleep 1000 running in the background. And what if I want to bring it to the foreground? Well, I can do that. I can just type in FG, and it brings it to the foreground, which is kind of nice. And then I can press Control C to kill it if I want to. Look at jobs, and there are no more jobs. Okay, let's start all over again. I want to do a sleep 1000, send it to the background, and I want to do a sleep 2000 as well, send it to the background. You can see that one is job number one. And one is job number two. Okay. So if I look at jobs, I can see that job two is the one that has a plus next to it. So let's see what happens when I do FG. So foreground, I can see that it brings job two, let's sleep 2000, to the foreground. Well, I want to put it back in the background and then go to job number one. Well, I can press control Z to stop it, BG to send to the background. So now it's there. Look at jobs right now, I can see the two of them. And I can do FG foreground number one to bring number one to the front, which is sleep 1000. Once again, I can press control Z and then BG to send it back to the background and have it continue running. You can see how you can do this thing where you're moving around with different processes, bring the front, bring the back, and press control to see to kill them. You can also uh, get information about which processes are running and you can kill them using the kill command. If you happen to remember the process ID number, you can also use PS to then see which one's there, but you kind of have to guess if you don't really know. Um, and, or you can look at the, the arguments if you can get the argument list as well, which would be a little bit longer command. Um, but you can see how you can do this right there by bringing jobs forward and putting it back, and that's jobs.